We are in Backup Exec 15. I'm going to show you how and why to put a job on hold. Now, you may want to put a job on hold for a couple of different reasons. One is you may want another job to run uh, in place of it, maybe like a one-time backup, something like that. Uh, other times, you may be restoring files and you don't want to overwrite the backup. So you put the jobs on hold so that way you don't have that happen. So go ahead and pick the job that you want to put on hold. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can go up to the Hold button and just choose hold and at that point you should see the icon here switch over to on hold after a few seconds which it just did and you can also right click and uncheck the box that says hold right there and it should bring us back to our scheduled time so you can also just right click and bring it back to hold so either one the hold button or the right click will bring the uh, job on or off hold so uh, let's also take a look at the uh, hold button where it says hold job queue. So you can hold the job, job queue which are active jobs continue to run but no new jobs uh, will run until the queue is taken off hold. So this will put every single job on hold. So we'll go ahead and do that and it'll say the job queue is on hold. Now you see these ones beneath it, they didn't get affected because they were just one-time backups. They're not scheduled to run again. So, and this the restore is the same thing. So uh, if we go back uh, to this, then you can you know, hit the drop-down list and uncheck the box, and then we're back to our schedule.